Hello, Sarah. Abraham. Tell me, what's this place missing? Nothing. Listen, can't you hear it? Hear what? The cries of a child. Ah. The cries of a child. I, I... I can love you without the cries of a child, Sarah. The progeny of a prophet must continue for his followers. I... I can't have children. I just can't. The progeny of Abraham will not be from me. I'm offering you my maid, Hagar. The progeny of Abraham is the best of God's creations. Oh, prophet of God. Prophets of God should rightfully have lineage. You and I, we will always have love. I love you, Abraham. Don't ask me for this. I will, Abraham. Now I understand why Gabriel gave me God's glad tidings. That a great nation will be created from my progeny. This is God's promise. Then I'll talk to Hagar. Lot. Last night I had a dream that a group of men were committing indecencies with each other. It was a dark land, and there were dark people. I know. God has chosen you to go to the kingdom of Sodom, to an obscene and lewd society, and stop them from indecency and evil. This is God's revelation. And Lot was chosen to preach the message, just like his uncle Abraham had been. I spoke to Hagar. What happened?
on the day that Nimrod's fire transformed into a garden under the command of God, I asked for a son, pure and untainted to succeed me. A son whose progeny would be God's greatest servants. <laughs> Ismail, the great forefather of the last of the prophets, Ahmad. Ibrahim is the son of Tarug. Tarug was the son of Nohu, who was the son of Saruj, who was the son of Ra'u. Um, the son of Ra'u, uh, Ra'u, uh, Ra'u, son of Forlidge, uh, uh, Forlidge, son of Abe, and Albe, Albe, son of, uh, son of Shale, uh, Shale was the son of Arfakshan, and Arfakshan was the son of Sam, and Sam was of Noah, the prophet Bravo. of God. Bravo. <laughs> oh, my dear. <laughs> <laughs> Is that my jar? I'm filling it up to clean the house. <sighs> There's no need for your help at all. You're cleaning up. I don't want a maid. You're not my maid. You're the wife of the prophet. The wife of the prophet! Have you despaired from my lover, prophet? Have you stopped loving me? Despair is one of Satan's traps, a prelude for surrender. Love is the only reason I exist, the reason for my message. Sarah, the fire of jealousy is a hundred times more destructive than Nimrod's fire. Turn it into a garden. Throw them out. Hagar is my wife, and Ismail is my son. No, 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 Sarah. I won't do that. Oh, God. Satan, the outcast is challenging your prophet. I seek refuge in you. Take your son, Ismail, and your wife, Hagar, away from Jerusalem and go to Hejaz, the land of worship. Your God will protect them from evil and harm.
It's time to say goodbye. It's the will of God that you stay here. And I go all the way to Hebron. Abraham, what sin have we committed to be punished like this? This is the hill of Safa. And that mount there is Marwa. Gabriel told me that in a revelation. We'll die here in this barren desert. Have mercy on us, O Prophet, on your child. This place is dry and burning. Oh God, make this land a secure place. I've settled my family in a barren land by your sacred house to sustain prayers. Oh God, make the hearts of people incline toward them and provide them with food so that they can be thankful for your dear, dear blessings, oh God. Thank you, God, for your blessings. Myself. He's become a man now. Go to the land of Hijaz again. Prepare your son, Ismail, to be sacrificed. Oh, you want me to do what the Canaanites used to do when they throw their firstborns into the flames as sacrifices for their idols? To sacrifice my flesh and blood, why? <sighs> I have to go, Sarah. I've been called upon. The camel's ready by the gates. I'll wait for you.
where is this place? The tribe of Jerome. Are you a traveler or a desert wanderer? A traveler. <laughs> Mother, we have a guest. Oh. Abraham. Hagar. Smile, your son. Ismail has become a man. The Durham tribe is proud of having him. Oh. How are the people of Durham treating you? I've never known a tribe kinder than these people. They've really honored us. They too are monotheists. I never knew what happened to you and your child, you know. When I left you there in the barren desert, I had faith in God's generosity. Because your migration was his divine command. It was his divine command. Many years have passed since those difficult days. In a burning desert, the never-ending thirst. The burning hot sun of Hijaz. The hill that's called Safa, and the other they called Marva with my child. On the verge of death.
The water you're drinking, O oh prophet of God, is from the well of Zamzam. Mm. Tomorrow is the day when I offer my sacrifice to God. I will choose the best ram from my herd for the sacrifice. <laughs> The offering for the sacrifice has already been chosen. On the Mount of Mina. Say goodbye to your mother, my child. We are going on a journey. its dreams. They are true dreams. Um, the Angel of Revelations came to me both in my dreams and while I was awake and revealed God's command to me. To sacrifice for God. Oh. <laughs> you. Tell me, what do you see in this true revelation? You will find me of the patient ones. On God's command. Father, do whatever you have been commanded. real tight so that I die easily, the sharp blade of fast death. Say hello to my mother and tell her that you fulfilled this divine mission with my total willingness. Be proud, O prophet of God, because the one and only creator is satisfied with you. friend for a prophet. Oh, light of my eyes. any successor.
You're leading your own flesh and blood to be killed. You want to sacrifice the blessing of this land? God help you, Abraham. The tribe of Jerum will avenge this boy's death. You deserve the stain that will be left behind for killing your own child, O oh, mighty prophet. away. that I should have been with you, but I was not. I didn't see this divine creation grow up. And today, I am compelled to put you in this situation. But it's a divine revelation, my son, I promise. I never doubted God. Sacrifice when I face the ground, Father, so that you can't see my face and aren't influenced to disobey this important mission. Persevere, Father. <laughs> <laughs> Generations. 
And Abraham returned to Hebron, and years passed. Isaac was born, and God revealed Abraham's last holy mission, building the Kaaba, the house of God. You will be my successor, the prophet of this nation. Ah, you carry the scent of Ahmad, the gem of prophets, you know. Pass my greetings to him generation after generation. Father, we have the power to build such a house. <sighs> that depends on whether you're in love with God or in love with this world. I'm in love, Father. I love God. Then we can. This is a power that God has instilled in our souls. Our body carries out the command of our souls. The souls of two people in love command. Here I am, O oh God. In answer to your call, ah, oh, here I am. Kaaba, the land of monotheism, was built by the hands of Abraham, friend of Allah and Ismail, the sacrifice of Allah. God's greetings to Abraham, who spent his life spreading monotheism and built the house of unity. And God's greetings to Lot. God's greetings to Ismail and Isaac. And God's greetings to Sarah and Hagar. And greetings to those who fulfill the Abrahamic rites in Hajj.